What is Crypto.com? Crypto.com is a cryptocurrency platform that's basically a one-stop shop. It allows you to store, transfer, and exchange between 90 plus cryptocurrencies and over 20 fiat currencies. Crypto.com also offers a Visa card. They also offer a way for you to earn interest on your cryptocurrency holdings, and they offer cryptocurrency lending using your crypto as collateral amongst other things. Is Crypto.com worth your time? Let's find out. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful traders. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the knowledge and resources to help you get to that next level. So if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn off the notification bell. Also make sure to like and share this video as we continue to spread cryptocurrency knowledge and mass adoption. All right, so let's go ahead and look at crypto.com. The first thing we're going to look at is a quick pros and cons list that I've created from my experience on the app. Let's start with the pros. The first thing that it does have that I liked was it has quick verification. So once you sign up for an account on crypto.com, uh, the first thing you will have to do before you can start using it is verify your identity. When I verified my identity, it took about five to 10 minutes. So it was a very quick and easy process. The second pro is that they have 24 seven customer support. Now I personally have not used the customer support and I have read some reviews saying that uh, the customer service has not gotten back to the people. Um, but here at the top right hand corner, if you guys see the top right hand corner, you just click that and you can see right here that you can start a chat instantly and basically, you know, ask for whatever it is that, you know, whatever questions you have. Now, I don't I don't know their exact working hours or if there are any working hours. Again, I haven't used it, but it does have a 24 seven customer support there where you can send them a message to. Next, it is available in the United States. It's available in the UK, in Europe, Canada and Singapore. So next is that you can buy and sell over 90 plus cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin at the real exchange rate. So if we look at the app here, you can see that we can basically buy any of the top coins, right? So for example, if I wanted to buy, uh, let's say I wanted to buy Tezos, just go ahead and click on Tezos. And then at the bottom, you see that it has um, the buy t the buy XTZ. You can also see here you have the chart here. You could look at the daily, weekly, um, monthly, you know, the usual stuff. Then here you have um, some data on the cryptocurrency that you're currently looking at. Here you can see the different exchanges uh, where you can buy cryptocurrency. Here's info on the cryptocurrency. And then, of course, if you hit buy, that's where you can buy the cryptocurrency. Another pro is that if you do use any of the Visa cards um, provided by crypto.com is that you do not have any monthly fees as you guys can see here. You don't have monthly fees, you don't have annual fees, you don't have delivery fees. And if you look at some of these rewards here on one of the Visa cards, you can see that you can get 8% back and you get 100% back if you use Spotify, Netflix, or Prime with this card. You get access to a airport lounge. You get 12% crypto.com coin stake rewards, 10% back at Expedia and Airbnb, and 2% extra earnings in crypto earn. So of course, when you're doing a pros and cons list, there's always cons as well. So the first thing that popped out to me when I was looking at crypto.com was its overall rating on trustpilot.com. As you guys can see here on trustpilot, you guys will see that crypto.com has a poor, poor reviews, right? So the reviews, they have 753 views and their star rating is a 2.3. Now, if we go through some of the reviews, you will see that there's always some good ones, but apparently there's a lot more bad ones than good ones. You see that this guy is saying uh, that he got cheated out of some money and that no response on customer service. If we keep looking, you will see there's still a lot more pretty good, decent reviews. Now, of course, we don't know how true any of these are. 
and you have to keep and you always have to keep in mind that usually people that are happy with the service don't really leave reviews it's usually people that are upset now the next con on our list is that you need to stake a lot of their own coin to unlock the highest and best rebates right so for example if we're looking at this card right here if we take off the CRO staking, we just lost everything. So basically at this point, we only have 2% back on card spend and airport lounge access, right? So you can see that without the staking, basically you have none of the benefits and basically none of the rewards really. And in order to receive this card, you need to purchase and hold 5 million CRO tokens for 180 days in order to be eligible for this specific card, which is their most prestigious card, right? So let's go to the most basic card. So Midnight Blue, it gives you 1% back on card spend. And this is the only one that you don't have to hold anything for, right? So there's really no rewards here. Once you go up to Ruby Steel, then you can start getting rewards. This one gives you 2% back and 100% back on Spotify. But in order to be eligible for this, you have to purchase and hold 5,000 5, CRO tokens for 180 days. All right, so a little backstory on Crypto.com. Crypto.com was founded back in June 2016 by these four gentlemen right here. In June of 2017, they raised $26.7 million from their Monaco initial coin offering. They're headquartered in Hong Kong and currently have a team of about 700 people worldwide. Crypto.com was previously known as Monaco MCO, but rebranded in July of 2018 after the expensive acquisition of the Crypto.com domain. They recently announced that they crossed 10 million users around the world after hitting 5 million just four months before. So Crypto.com is best known for its Visa card, but they do have a range of products. So as you guys know, they have the Visa card where you can spend anywhere that Visa is accepted. They have the Crypto.com app where you can buy and sell uh, cryptocurrencies at real exchange rates. They have Crypto Pay where you can pay friends and family and buy gift cards and all sorts of things. They have Crypto Earn where you can earn up to 12% interest on your cryptocurrency deposits. They have Crypto Credit Credit where you can deposit cryptocurrency and get credit to spend on your crypto.com visa card they have the crypto.com exchange where you can trade popular cryptocurrencies on your desktop with low trading fees and they have the crypto.com DeFi wallet all right so first let's talk about the crypto.com visa cards we already kind of spoke and covered them as you guys know with visa you can basically uh, deposit crypto into it and then you're able to use it anywhere that visa is accepted there's a range of different cards as you guys can see here um that gives you different awards. So the higher the range, obviously the better the rewards, but also the more unrealistic it is that the normal average person is gonna have the card. For example, the top card that they're offering, you know, unless you're staking $800,000 worth of their CRO token, you cannot get this. And you have to stake that for six months, you know, and go through the ups and downs of the shit coin and hope you know, pray to God that everything goes well just so that you can get these rewards. So this is not worth it. Um, and if you stop staking after that point, then you basically lose all rewards. So this one, even this one is still unrealistic. They want you to stake $80,000 worth of their shit coin. It's not going to happen. The green one here, it's a little bit more realistic, you know, $8,000, you know, that's not bad. I mean, it's not good, but it's doable for the average person uh but i get this would be the most realistic one the red one which you only have to stake about eight hundred dollars which is five thousand cro for 180 days and you'll be able to get spotify for free which is kind of cool and you get two percent back on whatever you spend with the card the two percent back is uh returned to you with cro which is of course their own token and if you don't want to stake or hold any of their tokens then you could just get this midnight blue and receive one percent back 
on whatever you spend. Now, these Visa cards are available in the United States, the United Kingdom, Europe, Canada, and Singapore. Excluding the uh, staking requirements, it is free to get your card and to have it delivered, and it's free to load money onto your card. There are no domestic transaction fees. There's also no monthly management fee, but you will be charged about $5 if you don't use your card at least once over a 12 month period. So if you guys are looking to buy cryptocurrencies with the crypto.com app, they do charge fees, but for new users, the fees will be waived for the first 30 days. Then everything else, if you're using a credit or debit card, your fees vary depending where you are, but it's between 2.99% to 3.99%. So to buy uh, any type of cryptocurrency on the app, you just have to click on the app, um, then you hit buy, and then it asks you, you know, if you wanna buy with credit card, with a crypto wallet, or with a fiat wallet. So it's pretty simple. Now I have not deposited from a credit card using credit card or debit card, and I haven't deposited using a bank, um, my bank either, but I did read that if you use your bank, it is free. You don't have to pay any fees when you're depositing money from directly from your bank account. So as you guys already know, there's over 90 different cryptocurrencies that are available and supported on the crypto.com app. Crypto.com also supports over 20 different fiat currencies. So now let's go ahead and talk about crypto earn, which is really what I'm most interested in. As you guys know, I've done a few videos on BlockFi. So we're going to compare BlockFi to crypto.com's earning platform. So to get there on the crypto.com app, you're just going to hit that middle button and then click on under finance where it says earn. And that should take you to this page where it says crypto earn on the top. So you can see that says earn up to 12% on your crypto assets. Earnings will be credited to your wallet every seven days. Earnings paid in the same currency as your deposit. But then comes the tricky part. If you look here, you will see that with 5,000 or less CRO, this drastically changes. So basically you have to hold, for this to be worth it, for you to, to use it, you have to hold 50,000 or more CRO. You basically have to be staking their coins, which is over $8,000 that you're gonna have to hold. Then the second twist to this is that you have terms here. So if you go down in terms, like I showed you guys earlier, let's say I want to do, just, I want to be flexible. I want to be able to, you know, take out my coins at any time. Look how drastically this changes. Look at Bitcoin, 2%. If I use flexible, and let's see if I take, if I'm not staking, it's still 2%. Oh yeah, actually, so if I'm flexible, it's, it's a 2%. And if I'm not staking at all, it's one and a half percent yearly. So right off the bat, that is trash, right? Compared to BlockFi, BlockFi gives you 6%. You don't have to hold any of their coins, right? So if I lock up my crypto for one month with them with without staking their coins, then on Bitcoin, I'm getting a 3% return. If I lock it up for three months without staking any of their coin, then they reach my Bitcoin will return four and a half percent. Now, if you're in USD, you can get a 10% return here. Um, in USD, DAI gives you a 10% return. Paxil Standard, True GBP, AUD. So a lot of the fiat currencies gives you give you a 10% return without staking with a three month. Let's try with a flexible. Let's see what that looks like. So then it drops down to 6% for the fiat currency, the stable coins, right? So basically you have to stake $8,000 and uh, lock up your money for three months in order to get the most out of this platform, which in stable coins gives you a 12% return. If you stake $8,000 of their own coin and lock up your money for three months. Guys, at least for me personally, I don't want to have to stake $8,000 of my money in their coin and then lock up my money for three months. I just, I don't want to do that. Why would I do that? I could do it on BlockFi without locking up my money um, for any period of time and without um, having to stake any type of coins. So um, BlockFi definitely wins in that point. 
So when it comes to interest and dividends and making making money, earning money yearly from the crypto that you're already holding, BlockFi wins in what I believe is a landslide. Alrighty guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Next, we're about to talk about their loan program where you can use your crypto as collateral. Then we're gonna take a look at their crypto exchange, which you can use on your desktop. And then after that, we will end our review with our thoughts. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you have any questions about anything that we have covered in this review, drop it in the comments. We'll be more than happy to get back to you guys with an answer. So let's talk crypto credit. Crypto credit is crypto.com's loan program where basically you can use your crypto as collateral to borrow money. So um, you can borrow up to 50% of your crypto collateral. So if you needed to borrow $1,000, you would need to uh, post up $2,000 as collateral. So the coins that you can uh, deposit as collateral, as you can see here, is CRO, BTC, ETH, LTC, XLM, EOS, ADA, ALGO, ADAM, oh, ADAM, VT, LINK, WBTC, XTZ, and DOT. So you need to. So if you wanted uh, five thousand dollars, you would need to deposit ten thousand dollars. Then you would receive the five thousand dollars in a stable coin. So then comes the twist again, though. Not only do you have to have ten thousand uh, dollars as collateral, but you have to hold eight thousand dollars worth of CRO or more, so that you can get an eight percent uh, interest rate right? Because if you don't, then you're paying a 12% interest rate. And at that point, it just doesn't make sense to me. If you do the same thing using BlockFi without having to stake any coins, um, then it's a 9.75% interest rate if you're using an LTV of 50%. But one thing you can do with BlockFi that you cannot do here you can lower the LTV rate on BlockFi, which is not possible with crypto.com. So on BlockFi, I can use an LTV of 35%, which would give me a 7.9% interest rate, which is better than this one while staking $8,000. Or I can use a 20% LTV, which gives me a 4.5% interest rate. So these are all things to keep in mind um, if you wanted to do this. Again, I'm not doing it on crypto.com if I do use it for any reason. Now, crypto.com does have a um, desktop based exchange, trading exchange, where you can trade, you can even trade with margin, uh, derivatives, and it has all sorts of stuff. I will say that I've never used this, and I don't know if it's a separate account or separate logins. I'm not sure, but they do have a lot of coins available here for basically everything, right? So I've never used this, so I don't have too much to say about this, but they do pretty good on fees here. Um, and obviously, you know, the same way that you need to have uh, be staking their own token in order to get discounted on fees. Um, if you do stake any other tokens, they give you discounts here for using their own fees. So that's a plus for this exchange. Other than that, I don't know much about the exchange. I've never used it. So bottom line, guys, uh, the Crypto.com app is a pretty good, user-friendly, easy-to-use app where it gives. it's basically a one-stop shop for everything crypto. It gives you everything from uh, trading cryptocurrencies, uh, being able to buy and sell cryptocurrencies from your bank accounts uh, at no fees or very low fees. It gives you access to a lot of altcoins that um, I know in uh, depending what country you're in, you might have trouble accessing. They offer a Visa uh, debit card, which you can use. Thing I don't like about, we already spoke about what I don't like about it, but um, if you guys are into that, then you guys can definitely use it. And they have a earning platform where you can earn interest on the cryptocurrency that you hold. All in all, it's not bad at all. You know, again, my the major things that pop out in my mind is I personally use it for altcoins um, and I don't mind using it for that. Other than that, I do not use crypto earn because it's just not worth it to me. Uh, BlockFi is way better with that. I do not use 
their Visa cards because I don't care. First of all, I don't care for debit cards. I don't want to spend my crypto. But if if you're you want you're looking for ways to spend crypto, then that's definitely a great way to do it. You could just get their basic cards for their higher reward cards. You need to stake way too much of their own tokens in order to for it to be worth it. So that's just not something I'm looking at or interested in. So that's basically it, guys. I would give it if I had to choose, I would give it about a three stars out of five. Um, just because they lost a point on their crypto earn from me and they lost a point on their uh, uh, Visa cards from me as well. Uh, they just make it way too difficult overall um, trying to force you to hold their tokens in order to benefit from being able to basically use the product. So, um, you know, there's just there's other services out there where you can get more without having to risk money holding a coin. So that uh, they get a three out of five for me. That's it, guys. That is the review on Crypto.com. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I went through a little bit of trouble trying to get this uh, my phone to work in sync with my computer while also recording everything. So I hope everything went through clearly and I got I was able to get the points that I was saying across and that it's understandable to you guys. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Um, also, guys, don't forget to like the video. If you have any questions about anything that we covered, anything that I might have missed, go ahead and drop it in the comments and I'll be more than happy to get back with you uh, with an answer. Alrighty, guys, tomorrow I will be doing a live stream. We'll be talking Bitcoin and altcoins, so tune in for that. As always, guys, peace and love.